When it comes to the travesty of what's going on in Syria with ISIS right now, everyone has opinions. Every world power has their opinion. Every news outlet has their opinion. Every hipster trying to sound impressive in every bar has an opinion. But you know whose opinion should count the most? The Syrians. That's whose. And they just took a poll that shed some light on what they think is going on. According to an Orb International poll, a whopping 81% of Syrians said they believe that ISIS is an American-made group. This isn't a country where leaflets are dropped from the sky, literally supporting America's Middle Eastern policy, mind you. They hear it all from everyone around the world all the time. Syrians have become the world's political pawns. And they're the ones suffering every day. They are the ones whose cities are being overtaken by ISIS. They are the ones whose sons are being beheaded and their heads are used to decorate their park fences. These are the people who are actually living this nightmare full time. And a majority of them are now of the mind that this is America's fault. We've seen ISIS driving around in Humvees and Toyotas supplied by the US. We turn now to a question being asked by American authorities after so many videos and images of ISIS. U.S. counterterrorism officials asking why are ISIS fighters driving so many similar trucks and where are they getting them from? Look at these images. ISIS fighters riding in Toyota pickups and Toyota Land Cruisers. Authorities now asking the automaker, can they help officials figure out why ISIS has so many Toyotas? ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, looking for answers tonight. The Toyota Hilux pickup is one tough truck. As the BBC auto show Top Gear demonstrated. And here it is! Seemingly indestructible. Which has made the Toyota Hilux a truck of choice in war zones around the world, including by ISIS. Their propaganda videos show convoys made up mostly of Toyota Hilux pickups and Land Cruisers. And there are too many that could be just stolen. Toyota says it does not know how ISIS is getting its vehicles and that it is impossible to control indirect or black market sales. But no one from Toyota would agree to appear in our report. And when we went to last month's big Toyota dealer meeting in Las Vegas, sure hotel security officials flashed lights into our camera lens and ordered us to stop taping or else. Sure, if you could just walk, walk, walk right out this way. We've seen them using American-made rifles. We know rebels who've received money from the American government have become top ISIS officials. A secret Pentagon report revealed that the U.S. not only foresaw the likely rise of ISIS as a result of its own foreign policy, but that it also saw the creation of ISIS as a strategic way to fight Assad. And we also know that our politicians love to use ISIS as a talking point for why we need to keep giving defense contractors and other incredibly rich corporations all of our money. There are mounds of evidence that America has directly contributed to the creation of ISIS, if not just outright masterminded the whole thing. It's obvious enough to the point where now Syrians themselves have said they believe the U.S. is behind ISIS. 81% of them said so in this poll. And yet Americans are still led to believe by our media and politicians that we are fighting for freedom in the Middle East, that we are fighting to topple ISIS. It's such an outright fallacy to get us to keep buying into the money-making machine of our endless wars. At this point, it's hard not to say what's more disgusting. The fact that America keeps making terrorist groups for economic gain or the fact that Americans are still clueless about it, unlike the Syrians themselves.